I need to shut a little light. I'm not turning the big booby light over. I'll turn this light on. You know the booby light, but mine's a nippleless. Miss mm. um, Bougie Bish. Uh, look. I got the same can of cat food for all the cats. I do it all the time. And I do that for a reason. I always make sure I get because I do two cans. We go through four cans of wet food a day. Two cans I stretch between five cats. Okay, Thor Loki get the most, <clears throat> and then I split one can between Binkies, Nicks, and Callie. They ain't eating it. Thor, uh, Loki, and um, Mixie. I don't know if this is just one they don't like, a particular flavor they don't like. It's beef. So they acted all snobby and shit. Mixie walks over and she just looks at it <clears throat> and walks away. I said, oh, no, you didn't, girlfriend. All right. Mm. My eyes hurt. Oh, my God. I'm sleeping. <clears throat> Y'all have to delete Timu off my damn phone because I was on that bitch last night I was looking for I don't know how it's called a mandolin mandoline slicer because I told y'all my blade broke for my little chopper set and I don't want to buy whole, I really only use that one is the slicer I mean I used to use the but I don't use it as often anymore and I'm like so, I'm like looking and stuff, and then, so what pops up, cause there's like an Easter sale. So I click on the Easter sale. I'm just scrolling, mindlessly scrolling. Right. Tell me why the, ta the matching tattoo that me and hubby have is in there on a rug. But I have to do the measurements. I need to look at the ruler and see if it'll work. So, I'm like, do I get it? And it's not that expensive, but then I'm like, what's the quality gonna be like? Back up! Excuse me. I got, I, I had to bust open my favorite. My favorite flavor, the salted dark chocolate espresso. All right. All right, so we're supposed to go to the gym this morning. She said she was setting her alarm for eight o'clock. She doesn't have to be at work till 12. And we'll probably be at the gym for like an hour, maybe not even an hour, maybe 45 minutes. I need to take I really need something in my stomach I feel like because I need to take a Tylenol my knee is so ratchet right now it's so rainy and disgusting outside I woke up this morning I'm like oh I'm like why does my knee hurt so bad and Lo and behold, I didn't realize it was it was raining because I'm like it's dark now. 
Well, that's why, because it was raining. Hmm. It's a rainy, rainy morning. Okay. So she said she was getting up at 8. That gives me 20 minutes to drink my coffee. Brush my teeth. I'll get my water and stuff together. And get a little go-go juice in my watch. I got on the scale this morning. It was not cute for way in Wednesday. 267. I'm like, what the fuck? But... I feel it. That's the problem. So, alright. Alright, y'all. I am going to go drink my coffee and stuff. I have to blow my nose. And I will see you all after that. Alright, we're here, bitches. I'm doing the elliptical today. My knees are fucking killing me. So I think the elliptical will be the best bet, maybe. I don't know. But that's what we're gonna do. Ooh. All right. Quick start. And then it usually says to enter your weight. So. All right, we're here and doing it. Okay. So I hit one mile, 17 minutes. It's not too bad. I think last month, oh, Monday, I didn't even get to a mile. And I'm gonna do cool down. All right, I know it's like really noisy and the music is super loud, so I'm trying to talk loud. Um, I went 1.18 miles in 20 minutes, which isn't too bad. It's better than what it was Monday, definitely. So I'm on the outer thigh, I'm gonna do inner thigh machines. Hopefully catch the ab machine because the ab machine is always, um, I might try to do some different machines today. My arms are like really freaking sore from Beat Saber and Zumba yesterday, plus sore from Monday at the gym. So, um, so yeah, let's get her done y'all. All right. I'm on the seated leg curl. I'm on the good one. I have it up to 50 pounds, but I'm going to take it nice and slow. I might do the seated, the one where you slide, but I don't know. My knee's really sore. So we'll see. Alright, I'm doing the leg press, but I'm going really slow. Like, it hurts, like, right here and, like, right here. It's like a knot right there. I'm trying to do it, though. Nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Bam. What is up, you glorious souls, you? How y'all doing? All right, let's get coffee and then food because I feel, oh, my arm is sore. I didn't do, I started doing a, a little bit of arm stuff, but then my arm was really like sore. I did the uh, lateral pull down, I guess. No, I didn't do the lateral pull down. I actually skipped that today and I skipped my ab machine because there was like, three people taking turns using it like they were together they were a group and i'm like i'm never gonna get on that because especially if they each do like 10 10 reps per set and they were doing like three or four sets i ain't got all that time to be waiting so i did the side to side thing where you sit and you go side to side i did that but i couldn't vlog because there was like a lot of people around there so i couldn't hi Kelly. hi Hi, Cali. Do you want look? What are we doing? Do you want to <gasps> Ow! Cali, you made me blood. You made me blood. Would you like a treat? Treats. Would you like treats? Treats. Nixie, 
You know what they haven't had in a while that I should, I should give them? This one is not open. Excuse you. Come on. Careful, the VR is right there. Callie, did you know you were sitting on a treat? to make breakfast I'm going I'm like fucking starving I was starving before I went to the gym all right I'm not gonna give them any more treats I gave them their vitamins um I am going to make god damn Callie that hurt I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'm gonna get my damn shower because I ended up not showering last night. And you're probably like, ew, all right, you're disgusting. But I washed up. I did the bird bath in the sink with, like, the washcloth. And just, I got all the important parts and everything. So, before I went to bed. Okay. Because I, like, I'm just going to get. <clears throat> I'm going to get a good hose down today. But I have to wait till after wifey gets her shower and stuff. Because she has to go to work. She has to go to work. Excuse me. This cat, I swear. He get look, right in the chest freezer. Like, every time it opens. Like, he's from Antarctica or something. What are you doing, bruh? Oh, my gosh. Thor, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's cold. Look, now Loki, now Loki's over here. Thor, they just love to play with ice cubes. So as soon as they hear the chest freezer, they jump in so I can throw them ice cubes. They're wild. Okay, so I have two pieces of, this is for everybody, for me, wifey, and Brayden. We have I made turkey sausage and one pork sausage for Brayden. I'm going to make eggs with cheese on a keto bagel thing. So a nice good breakfast. And I'm going to put some everything bagel seasoning on it to make it like an everything bagel. It's going to be delish. All right, let's check out my post-workout breakfast. So here we go. There is the cross section. We got a little fried egg, a piece of Colby Jack cheese, turkey sausage, and the keto bagel thins. And I put a little bit of butter with some everything bagel seasoning. That's delicious. That's really good. Mm. I have to go take wifey hers. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. I know. I'm going to run up here and I'm going to hide. <laughs>
<laughs> He's so cute. It's here. Oh, why they put it in this big ass box though? I don't know. Let me open it. Okay. I'm unpacking. I'm unpacking it. Okay. Here it is. Hello. Okay. The new Keurig iced coffee. You could do iced and hot. Will you stop chewing on the mock Thor? Stop. Don't chew on that. Weirdo. Okay. Let's see what don't wink at me. Okay. The new Keurig. So I looked up my old Keurig and to see what the water reservoir is. And they're actually both 46. I thought this one was 60, but it's not. Here. 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 They're actually both 46 ounces, which explains why it would take... And I, if I'm brewing, why it would take two 32 ounce cups, which really aren't even full all the way to 32 ounces. So, all right. So, <laughs> I started cleaning my um, cake corner because we fit in to do some ALR cupcakes. I asked for Dank Fupa's permission to use her um, drawing of ALR, which I thought would be, you know, really cool to do. So I did that. Okay. And, oh. Okay. All right. So let's unveil this baby. I feel like it looks smaller than ours. Okay. All right, so here's our machine. So it has our eight, 10, or 12 ounce cup. If you want a strong cup of coffee and if you want iced coffee. And then there's our add water and descale button, which will probably come on. But I'm wondering if I should just buy jugs of water, like seriously, and use jugs of water in here instead. For real. Because then it won't get so yucky so fast. For, refre for refreshing ice, add your ice to your tumbler, press the iced coffee, then select your size. For a strong, oh, for full flavored hot, select your size. Okay. All right, what size? Okay, now here's a question. Will this fit in here? I guess it will, because it's got five. Okay, it'll fit in there. All right, all right. All right, I'm just taking all this stuff off. I'm going to rearrange the counter. And it's funny because I was like, do I want another cup of coffee? Do I need another cup of coffee? And then this came and I'm like, I think it was just destined for me to have another cup of coffee. So I'm going to go and I'm going to fill this up and all that good stuff. So. Be right back. It's so tiny. So we got the soda stream, my KitchenAid, and now the little teeny tiny Keurig. It's so small. It's so small. Where's my phone gonna go? I think 
you guys can go right there. All right. Oh, and the lights just, all the lights just came on. All right. So, let's put our thing in. Put this down. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay, so I got this tumbler. My girlfriend made this for me a long time ago. It says, bake the world a better place. So I have some ice in here. And then it says, select ice. And then I'm going to do 12. All right. I had to take this off for it to fit. But it does fit under there. All right, let's see how this works. It's very noisy, but maybe because it's cooling it. have it on ice. All right. It's cooler. All right, let's add, I'm gonna add all my stuff to it. It says 12 ounces, so I'm gonna add my, and then we're gonna add some milk. Get him some milk. Okay. I hate that hubby has like all this beer in the fridge and he might like, never really drinks it. All right. It's not too shabby. That's pretty good. Nice. I like it. It's a little dainty. I gotta figure out where to put the phone though. I might have to hold you guys and then once it's done brewing, then set you up here. But then if I change my phone case, unless I just put you guys up here, like I do, like you guys can be in my, my cabinet dwellers. Y'all are my cabinet dwellers, I guess. You'll just have to chill in the cabinets instead. So, there is a resolution for everything. All right, I need to finish cleaning out my... I'll take care of this mess later. I need to finish cleaning up my cake corner so I can get started on these Girl World Part 2 ALR cupcakes. Maybe later I'll go live or something. I don't know. We'll see. I say that, but I also have somebody supposed to be calling me. They asked me for this interview. I totally forgot about everything. And her even asking me and her reports due Sunday. Or her projects due Sunday. So. Fun stuff. What is up most? What? Y'all I see shit. Um. What is that, beautiful people? So, I have to make dinner because, oh, I was gonna throw that up and catch it. I wasn't gonna probably catch it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy dinner tonight because I am recording content for my cake channel. I am working on Girl World Part Two. I think I said this already. Amberlynn, oh my God, the shrimp gate. I wanna try to get them all done tonight. And then like edit the video and just, I want it out tomorrow so bad. And then I'm gonna do, um, and then I'm gonna work on Easter stuff. So, and I kinda wanna make some um, sugar cookies. Usually I put butter in the pan, I don't feel like doing butter. Um, I'm literally just making Italian sausage. I'm just gonna fry them up and, 
funny because I kind of wanted um, onion rings. And I thought, ooh, sorry, y'all got to see my cottage cheese on. Um, I thought I had um, veggie onion rings. Don't you guys remember me buying some? I swear I got some. Um, so I don't know, but yeah. Okay, I got them in. I need to wash my hands. I got to pack up the old Keurig, the new Keurigs over there. I told wifey, I said, look, I said, I think we just need to buy a gallon like jug water for the coffee pot. Cause I don't want it to like, cause it always like the descale thing will come on and then it never comes off. And we buy like all these fancy high things, like price things to descale it and they never fucking work. Okay. I can't find my, on my, the green giant veggie, like the onion rings. I could have sworn I bought some. I don't feel like going back through my vlogs to see, but I'm telling you, I know I fucking bought some. I swear I did. I swear, I swear, I swear. It's all right. We're making these veggie fries. These are actually one of my favorites. Like, I love the zucchini garlic parmesan. They're so good. I also like the tots. I love the green giant stuff. So, but yeah. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to put these in the air fryer. 400 for like 12 minutes. So I always like to make sure they're nice and spread out and they crisp up so nice. Like you don't even know that they're zucchini. That's what I love about them. They're delicious. They're delicious. So there's this guy I follow on TikTok and like Instagram, mainly Instagram, but I do follow him on TikTok. And I think he has a YouTube channel as well, but his name is Keto Snacks. Like it's S-N-A-C-K-Z. And um, he has some, I have made so many of his recipes. Like I've made a ton of his recipes. They're like so good and like so easy. And he made like uh, broccoli fries or something where you take like the chopped broccoli and they sell chopped broccoli in the stores now. So you don't even really need to like boil it and stuff yourself like the riced broccoli. You just have to squeeze all the agua out of it. But, um, and he shows you how to make like your own like broccoli tots and stuff with like cheese and everything, mainly Parmesan. Shredded Parmesan's like, I feel like one of the more expensive. I have something in my eye that's driving me crazy. Um, so I'm like, I'm trying to wash the dishes. Hubby finally brought his, uh, protein shakers home so he said he wants protein shakes so i'm not doing like i said anything special with the sausage i'm literally just cooking it because i want to get back to my cake corner because i have three more to do i have three more to do i'm like so pumped these are coming out really good and then i gotta go in the freezer and pull out six cupcakes and do all that good stuff so but in case like I've been off and on under a rock today because like I said, I've been working on um, on my stuff. So apparently Chantel, nobody knows if she has, if you're a part of Girl World or not even really a part, but if you follow it, it's funny because somebody made like, I remember Foodie actually asked everybody, like her audience, she's like, when a TV show goes off, She's like, do you guys still obsess over them? And it's like, you know what? When me and my girlfriend, when the hills were a thing, me and my girlfriend, we would sit there and not only would we sit there and call each other and sit there in silence as we watched the hills and we would get like each other's live reactions, you know, to shit. We would talk about the hills. And, like, if we had a thought, we would call each other and talk about it. Like, we talked about it for a while. Like, after the episode was done. Like, oh, girl. I did. Like, we would talk about it forever. And then I call my other girlfriends. And we talk about the hills, too. I go to work. And I talk about the hills. It's probably just, like, um, like the foodie version. It would be, like, you know, 
like it would be like her like people would come to her channel watch her channel if they know somebody who watches the foodie verse or who's who watches and follows the girlies of girl world you know it's like you go to work and you talk to them about the newest episode any video she uploads in my opinion and how i look at it is a new episode that's just like people might look at my vlogs like that every day you get a new episode it's like a stories like remember the stories the daytime stories you watch the stories and you sit there and you talk about it with your people you know like mine was days of our lives no i lied all my children all my children was my shit with the infamous Erica Kane, the Susan Lucci. Oh, because that's where um, Kelly came from. From Regis and Kelly, she used to play Kelly and her husband was Mateo on All My Children. And then Dimitri and then the one guy played Stuart. I think he was like, I, now that I look back at it, I think he was supposed to be like autistic or something. But he was like... I don't know, but the guy, Stuart, that I, not Victor, oh God, who was, I don't remember, and Liz, was it Liz? She had like a weird name, but I loved her name, the blonde, she was like the thick blonde, like why do they all gotta be blonde and stuff, well no, they all weren't blonde, and then, oh, Ed, Edmondson Maria, oh, they were my favorite favorite couple i loved maria so much ed edmund and maria they were my favorite she was spanish she was so fucking gorgeous oh my god but look look years later i'm still talking about the soaps just like years later when people like watch your retro reacts like ffg's doing right now we're just we still watching so yes that's like it is what it is. Like, literally, you, Amber Lynn. Well, I like glitter and lasers. But, like, and I guess, like, even me, if I was to ever even blow up, which I doubt, because I'm very boring. Um, but it's your daily soap opera. You know? Mine's like the Mr. Rogers. We're pretty boring, pretty chill, pretty low key. You know, you get a little bit of the cooking channel. <laughs> I can lead you to a cooking channel, a baking channel. But yeah. So I don't know. But I don't know what's going on with her today because Miss Foodie went back to Foodie Beauty. She's deleted community posts. She's then changed her banner numerous times. She hasn't posted. She hasn't uploaded. She hasn't done anything. People are speculating because somebody posted that they reported her. YouTube actually checked it and decided that she was abusive. So now people think she's on a seven-day suspension because she got a copyright strike or actually a strike of abuse, which is like really, really bad. And so she hasn't posted, she hasn't gone live or anything, which I'm surprised she hasn't ban evaded and like went on Salah's channel or something because I don't think his channel is linked to her channel. So she could technically go on there and like live stream and everything, but she wouldn't get the money. So she's not gonna do it, you know what I mean? So she changed her location back to Canada because it was on Kuwait, because I remember live streaming and just for shiggles, I went and checked it and it was Kuwait. Now it's back to Canada. Then she didn't have happily married and a Muslim revert. Then she added it back or then she added it into her new channel description. Like, like I said, community pay posts, videos are getting deleted, like all kinds of shit's going on. So what the fuck is she, what, what's going on Chantal? And it's her birthday. I'm, I, I kind of hope she goes back to Canada because if she actually like listens to the channels, like me, I've said it once, I said it a million times. Foodie, like throw it in my face. Slap me in the face. Give me two big middle fingers and say, fuck you, I'm going back to Canada. I'm taking my life back. I'm taking my health back. I will take those slaps in the face. I will take those middle fingers. But I ain't gonna worry about it because you ain't gonna do nothing. You know? 
And here I am struggling, exercising. Well, I go off and on because I have time this week because I'm on spring break. I, I When I do have time and I can get to the gym, my ass is up bright and early before even wifey gets up. I'm up, ready to fucking go to the gym, bust it out. I bought my Zumba so I can do the VR on days I can't go to the gym. So I'm like, you know, and I still can't fuck. I had gastric bypass and I still can't fucking lose weight because this little motherfucker right here. See, well, you can't see it. But inside there, there's a little demon evil butterfly that's like fighting against itself, making my freaking thyroid levels. Yeah, Hashimoto's. And then I'm always going to have these fucking cottage cheese arms because of the lipedema. And I'm up here trying to bust my ass and you're just sitting there shoveling the food in. Ugh. Girl, get your shit together. Because let me say, like, this would be a direct message for Foodie Beauty. Like, for real, for real. I was over 400 fucking pounds. I lay down here on my sofa because I felt loopier than I thought I was high. I didn't know what was going on. I felt like, ooh, like, you know how, like, you see, like, those movies, like, where you're tripping? My blood sugar was almost 500. 500. My blood sugar was high as shit. 500? Almost. It was like 480 something. I went to the hospital. You know what I did when I came home from, and this was right before I went back to work. You know what I did? I came right home when, because I, they wouldn't let me leave until my blood sugar came down. I was on all kinds of doses of metformin, like a thousand twice a day. I'm like, mm -mm. no, I went right on that website and I applied for gastric bypass. I had my first appointment. My insurance wanted to be an asshole, so it took me like a year to get it. But then I had my surgery. Now, granted, it was four years ago. Am I anywhere where I want to be? No. I don't want to be skinny. I just want to be 200. That's all I want to be. I'm at 260. 260. I was 268 this morning. But I feel like the swelling. And I... Uh, and I know I don't do what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm supposed to be doing my lymphedema treatment for like an hour or two a day if I have time. Two if I have time, one every day. And I haven't done it in months. My son was just yelling at me. My new leg, my new leg piece and everything came in in November. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it. I need, I need to make time for it. Every day I need to make time. I need to come home and days I can't get to the gym, I need to work out for like 30 minutes. And then I need to do my my thing. And then I can make dinner and stuff. But that's the problem. Like, I get home at 4. It's, like, hard, you know? So, I don't know. All right, I need to flip this stuff. But I know, I know what I'm doing wrong and why certain things aren't happening. But some things I can't control, like my thyroid. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. It's my, my body is attacking my thyroid. And I can't help it. Are there things I can do? Yeah. But my ADHD sometimes doesn't allow me to do shit like I want to do. Like I should be doing. Should I go on medicine? Sure. But I'm like this. I have spent the last almost 44 years without ADHD medicine. And it fucks with your blood pressure. My blood pressure is under control. I'm not trying to fuck with it. I'm not trying to do anything that will fuck up my blood pressure. Nope. 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 And I'm beginning to think, hold on, let me rotate the sausage. I'm beginning to wonder and think if there's like some kind of chemical imbalance with like most plus size women. Seriously, like with the food addictions, I know I have a food addiction. I'm addicted to sweets and sugar. I know that or I used to be. I'm not as bad as I used to be. But give me a little taste of real sugar. I'm like, what? You know? Um, but I was not deprived, but I'm an emotional eater. I'm a stress eater. I'm a grazer. I had it beat at one point, but then when my depression, even though my depression was two, almost two years ago, I was in that depression for a long time. Like when I had my, my surgery, I was in a very deep, dark depression and I gave zero fucks about anything. But because of that, my consequence is I gained 30 pounds and I have not been able to lose those 30 pounds for over a year. I have been stuck 
I've been trying, I give up. I try again, I give up. It is a vicious cycle with me. I get frustrated because I have been stuck in the 260s, open and real, the stuck in the 260s since last April. Last April is when I got back into the 260s. I gained 30 pounds since my pan my panelidectomy. I can't say it, but when they re removed like 20 some pounds of excess skin from me because that's how bad my stomach was hanging down. I had terrible, terrible rashes. I have my, I have a health journey playlist. I have like my whole road to weight loss surgery, all my like from my brain tumor, my Hashimoto's diagnosed, all that. I have a whole playlist from before I used to vlog every day. Um, so I used to do like little updates and stuff, but yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I, like, I mean, of course, like most people who do have a binge eating disorder are like overweight and everything, but like, I didn't give a fuck about anything. I went back to eating carbs. I wouldn't touch a fucking carb. I was tracking every single one, like every little crumb that crossed my mouth hole, I logged. Like I weighed everything. And then after my surgery, it just went downhill. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. I was so depressed. I was in a very deep deep dark dark place that I never want to get in I sabotaged myself and I know I did and I have been struggling mentally physically like willpoweringly <laughs> to get back and it's hard but I keep going I still try to implement stuff but I have my moments of weakness it's like oh this ain't gonna hurt and that's my problem and I know that and I've been trying to work on it like my son he'll sit there and he'll offer me something and I'll just be like no and then I'm just like well one little bite and then I'm like no because the one little bite is gonna make me get up and go get a bag of chips or something so but I've done good today I think in, in my opinion I feel like I did pretty good so but let me go serve up dinner like I said we're just doing sausages um, I've been trying to lay off the bread so I've been doing for myself personally oh my god these fries are so good why am I sticking my hand in oh I got two of them in the air fryer oh my god they're so good I'm like Ray, can't you wait? Nope. Mm. I'm telling y'all, they don't taste like zucchini. Y'all need to try them. For real, it's more of a like a parmesan. I don't know what they do and what they use, but see, like, look, you can't even see. Oh my god, they're so good, so good. Seriously, try them. If you do. Let me know. Let me go eat. All right, friends. It is uh, 1 46 a.m. And I am done. The Amber Red Reed Cupcakes. At some point tomorrow, I will have the video up on my cake channel. But if you want a little sneaky peek, I did post two wee little pictures on the Twitter Twatter. But. I also, on my TikTok, made a video. So if you wanna see them before the video is out on my Raised Bakes channel and the pictures are posted on my Raised Bakes Facebook page, you can go. I always, every time I'm done um, a cupcakes or whatever, even like orders and stuff, I always make TikToks, always like right after I'm done because then I because I leave certain ones out like especially if I have an order I'll leave like all the good ones out and then I'll do a video like a TikTok with them so that way I put them away and whatever so you guys want a little sneaky peek oh no you're not <laughs> almost tripped over the cat bowl okay I have to make hubby's lunch and he emptied out his whole damn lunch box because he says it needs to be cleaned so i need to give this a good scrub down so i will be right back all right it's two o'clock in the morning and i'm grazing but i'm gonna go upstairs and edit this vlog 
Loki is gonna help me eat my midnight, literally in the middle of the night snack. I have some strawberries and my zero sugar cuit. And Loki is uh, licking the inside of the Cool With lid. Just enjoying himself. I, I need to go upstairs and edit the vlog for you guys. And um, no gym tomorrow. Might do VR. I wish I could figure out how to. Record. Oh, shit. Record myself. So you guys can see what I'm doing and see my screen. I know you can do it. I've seen the big timers do it. But me, I know enough. Look at this strawberry. It's a booty. It's a little booty with two buttholes. Um, I know enough about technology just to get me by. And that's it. Mm. So. I have a hole in the middle. Mm. But yeah, I know just enough about technology to get me by, to do what I need to do. So, all right guys, thank you for joining me. My nighttime snack. I didn't really do too bad eating wise, I don't think today. Y'all saw my I'm trying to remember what all I ate today. I had the breakfast, and then for lunch, I ate the rest of the leftover fish. Me and Braden split a little bag of chips. Um what else did I eat today? I did have a Rice Krispie treat. Wifey brought me down one. I had dinner. I did eat another sausage. I had two sausages with some bread, which I should have did the um, zero carb tortilla. But also tomorrow I'm making, I'm gonna work on some Easter videos. My legs hurt though so bad, like my knees and everything hurt. So I think tomorrow might be a rest day because Friday we're going to the gym and then Saturday and Sunday and then Monday I'll go to the gym. So, but yeah, so, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up and head up. Oh, what am I doing? I'm like, I'm at the wrong fucking light switch. I am going to head upstairs. So please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so, 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 so very much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. I gave Loki a spring. He's playing happily with it. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.